What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today I'm going to be going over my wishlist for Mac OS 16. We got a really big list to talk about, let's get started. Alright, so the first one has to do with smart stacks. So you see I have these two countdown widgets, right? Well, I kind of don't want two countdown widgets side by side like this. I want them on top of each other, and they just scroll out throughout the day. I want smart stacks on the Mac desktop. Now along with this, something that could go really well is the smaller rectangular widgets on the desktop. So they can just go smaller, like it could just be a split widget here with two of the circular widgets. So this could just be three widgets or even four widgets if you want to get really tiny like that. So if we could just get these tinier widgets on the desktop, that'd just be very nice. With the Mac lock screen. So if we were to take a look at this Mac lock screen right here, it looks really similar to iOS. However, I think Apple could do better and bring over widgets on here. I could, I could see the accessory rectangular and circular widgets being useful here. They're basically the same widgets as iOS. And also just adding the text widget up here. That would just look really nice here on the Mac lock screen. I could see that being very useful. All right, now the next thing has to do with a redesign right-click menu. So you might think, what's wrong with this right-click menu? Well, if we were to take a look at other apps, for example, let's just go to one of my apps right here and go inside of here. You're going to notice that there are icons here. This can help differentiate your right-click menu a lot more. So you can just take a look at the icon and click on it. And in some cases, for example, if we were to do, do this, you have something like this. So personally, I wouldn't want this everywhere like Windows is trying, but maybe like cut, copy, paste, and maybe stuff that apps could add like extensions. I think that would just be very nice to see. For example, if you had like a clipboard manager, you could just have an add to clipboard manager button inside of this extension right here. So this is just a little example on what the right click menu could look like. And especially if you were to just have it all the way like this, with these icons and everything like that. Apple has a ton of icons they can use. So let me just show you a bunch of them right here. If Apple could just use a lot of these icons inside of the right click menu, I think that would look really nice as well. Now next thing has to do with a translate app. So currently I use this app right here, this website to get translations. However, I want it to be very easy to just translate things on the fly. I know there is right click and then just translate like that but that's not enough, I don't think. We need full translation on the Mac. I'm specifically wanting a Translate app. So we don't have a Translate app, they have an iPad app. Why not just bring that over to the Mac? It would be pretty easily. I hear they make that app in SwiftUI, so it just should be pretty easy to port over, considering that SwiftUI is considered cross-platform development. Code once and it will run everywhere, but you need to like optimize it for a couple of things. So if Apple could just make those optimizations and port it to the Mac, I think that would just be a really nice feature for them to add pretty easily inside of Mac OS 16. All right, so the next thing is gonna be a little bit complicated, but I want navigation transitions inside of Mac OS. So you know how inside of system settings on iOS, there's an animation when you were to click inside of a menu? Well, if you were to click on something right here, just go straight there. There's no animation or anything like that. I want it to be a lot prettier just to have a little animation here. Now, the reason why I have this page open right here is because Apple actually seems to be working on this. This was bundled in inside of Mac OS 15. However, it was not even used at all with Mac OS. This API exists, but this Zoom one has no Mac support, has Mac Catalyst support, but this is essentially just iOS apps on the Mac. So unfortunately, we did not get any Mac OS support. But the thing is the navigation transition protocol is available on Mac OS 15 for some reason. The Zoom navigation transition is not available on Mac OS. So I think Apple will be bringing some navigation transitions over to Mac OS. So it's just not going instantly inside of a menu like that. And to back this up, if we were to go inside the test flight app right here and then click on a button, you'll see that it is very easy to transition through, it has an animation. So I think something like this will be coming over to some apps inside of Mac OS 16. And let's just hope that actually comes. All right, the next thing I want is a redesigned color picker. 
So this color picker is all the way back from Next Step OS. So if Apple could just overhaul this color picker, perhaps bring over the iOS color picker. I think that color picker is a lot user friendly. There are these pencils and stuff like that. However, it's just very complicated. Like there's just so much you could do in here. Hopefully Apple could just bring over a brand new color picker. I don't really like this color picker to be honest. So if Apple could just bring over a new color picker, maybe copy from Windows or bring it over from iOS, that would just be really great to see. Now the next thing has to do with iPhone mirroring. So I can't use iPhone mirroring right now because I'm using continuity camera. But the first thing with iPhone mirroring I want is being able to use iPhone mirroring with continuity camera. I see no reason why this shouldn't work. Now, first thing that would happen is that you could use Snapchat with continuity camera or use your MacBook's webcam if you have a MacBook with Snapchat. Now, the second thing is if you're using continuity camera like me, you should just be able to use iPhone mirroring. So I don't know why that is a limitation with iPhone mirroring. And the third one is freely resizing the app. For some reason, you can't put the app all the way on the top of the bar. It has to be right there, and this is as far up as it can go. And you only have like a couple sizes. So it's like really tiny, medium size, and big. For some reason, the big size doesn't fit inside of my MacBook's display. But if Apple could just make these resizable, freely resizable like every other app is, let me show you what I mean. So if Apple could just let this happen with iPhone mirroring, that'd be great. I just don't know why that is not a feature inside of Mac OS 16. All right, so the next thing is a redesigned finder. So the finder kind of looks old and it's a little bit clunky and tabs are not available in the finder by default for whatever reason. My proposal is doing a Swift UI overhaul just for the UI. Apple will just rewrite it and it just would just look a lot better in general. So I have no idea why Apple doesn't like, I have no idea why Apple likes the, this design. It comes straight from the 2000s. So if Apple could just make this new finder look a lot better and function a lot more like Windows, I think that would be great and more user friendly at the same time. Now, I do like that Apple has invented the tabs and other things like just having the tabs by default. Windows has the tabs on by default. So if Apple could just do that, I think that would just be great. Plus Windows right now has RAR support. So if you were to have a RAR file, you can't convert it. Previously in the past, I praised Apple for being able to convert images very easily. But for some reason, we don't have the ability to convert RAR files to a folder, for example. Hopefully we get that very soon. Now the next thing I want is iCloud backups. So yes, it would be very hard backing up an entire app that isn't from the Mac App Store. But with apps from the App Store, why not be able to back up those? And just warn users that you can't back up apps that are not from the App Store. I think that would just be a good idea. Just so people are more encouraged to download from the Mac App Store compared to other app distribution methods. And maybe just maybe just have an API just so you could just have the app download on a new Mac, for example. So you could just have iCloud backups instead of Time Machine backups. I think that would be really good and more modern in 2025. Now the next one is a feature I do not know why it, it doesn't exist inside of macOS. So inside of sound, you have the ability to change your speakers and change one master volume switch. For some reason, you cannot have one for like the messages app, for example, or for Roblox. You have to have one sound volume control, which is unfortunately not the best thing Apple could do. If Apple could just have individual app volume controls, I think that would just be very good and very modern for Apple to do. Now, the next thing I want are dock folders. So similar how iPadOS can have dock folders, I want Apple to do, just let us just put apps over other apps. I would just put them in the folders, for example. I think I'd just be really good if I could just have like Xcode with test flight in one folder, for example. Maybe Willy Witches and Willy studied in that other folder. I think I'd just be really easy to add and very modern and very well liked feature inside of Mac OS. Something that also Windows doesn't have with their taskbar as far as I know. All right, so while I did get Windows snapping inside of Mac OS 15, I think Apple could do better. So let's say I have another app opened. So if I wanted to just do that, I just have the option to choose whichever app I want right here. So I could just click on Willy Widgets and then immediately this happens with Willy Widgets. And then do this, it should just show another app that could go right here. So let's just put Willy Study right here. So instead it just does that when it should just do that. So if Apple could just add that feature, I think that'd be really beneficial for everyone. I don't know why Apple just can't add that quite yet. 
Hopefully they add it very soon. The next thing are redesigned volume and brightness sliders. These look like very old. Hopefully Apple could just replace them one day. In fact, for some reason, Apple didn't replace them when they updated them in iOS on macOS. So if Apple just bring over the iOS version, maybe position it somewhere else instead of on the side, I think that would just be very beneficial for Apple to make macOS just seem a little more modern since sometimes this gets in the way of my content, this gets in the way of my content when I want to like adjust the screen and I gotta wait for it to disappear for example. Hopefully Apple can just make these more modern and put them off to the side or out of the way. Plus you can't really drag them like this so hopefully Apple adds like the drag support in there inside of macOS 16. Now the next thing I want is the ability to quickly delete apps. So you can quickly delete an app from the Mac App Store since Willy Widgets, Willy Study, and Canva are all available on the Mac App Store. However, what if you get an app like ChatGPT and you want to delete it for like Copilot or something? It, you can't just like quickly move it to the trash. That doesn't work. You got to go inside of Finder, Applications, find ChatGPT, and the command option delete. And then you can just delete it like that. And this should also be deleting the app data. Like macOS just track what data this app uses. And maybe inside of this menu right here, add uh, delete app only and then delete all app data. So hopefully Apple could just add the ability to track what the app is doing. Just so inside of system settings, if you go inside of storage, the system data thing does not get full. Since on my Mac mini right here, my system data is using 87 gigabytes. So hopefully Apple is able to cut that down quite a bit. And lastly, but not least, the ability to have control center APIs inside of the control center right here. So for some reason, the control center did not get updated inside of macOS. The iOS control center looks absolutely amazing. So hopefully they're able to bring the control center from iOS to macOS and also bring over the APIs from there. So just having any app be able to have control center access would just be very nice to see. Anyways, that is everything I want inside of macOS 16. I limited it to 16 wishes because of macOS 16. So hopefully that adds clarification of why only 16 and not like 20 or 30 wishes or only 10 wishes. I just want to try to match the number as best I can for as long as I can. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Tell my apps, Willy Widgets, and Willy Study down in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!